Now, Feyenoord are increasingly concerned they're going to lose their head coach, Arnie Slot, to Tottenham. But what does the man himself think? There was only one thing for us to do and send Gary Cottrell out to meet him in the birthplace of total football. Oh, yes. Of course, the Netherlands. <laughs> and Gary now joins us live from <laughs> Rotterdam. Uh, Gary, how did Slot seem to you then? Did he sound like a man who fancied a crack at the Premier League next season? Uh, 100% sounds like a man who fancies a crack at the Premier League brackets next season, close brackets, question mark. That is the question. He said, look, if he leaves this job and goes to another job in the Dutch League, then he's failed. He's not doing his job properly. He sees uh, the challenges, the Premier League, he calls it the biggest league in the world. He wouldn't confirm or deny whether or not Tottenham have been in touch, but he says he enjoys a challenge, although he did indicate to me that he's already started making plans with the hierarchy at this club for the summer and next season. Very engaging man, you know. Uh, he knew why we were here, but he still accepted questions for seven or eight minutes uh, from me. The press officer, the media officer, he tried to intervene on one occasion, but uh, no, our man kept going. I think he enjoyed the joust. You must know that you're now the front runner to be the new Tottenham manager that's a question or is that uh, for you to tell are you you're aware of that and how do you feel about that yeah uh, I just said to your colleagues next question <laughs> uh, but uh, I already uh, gave a few times an answer to a certain question but um, like I said that is that is not that that is not the moment to talk about this have Tottenham been in touch with you or your agents or your manager I think, I think coach was clear. You can keep continuing asking the same questions over and over again. But the answer is every time the same. We are here for the game on Sunday. And um, you've asked some questions about how we experience being uh, the champion. It's quite normal to answer those questions. But uh, all the other ones are not for this moment. But are you a coach, still a young coach? Or are you a coach who enjoys a challenge? Or are you a coach with ambition? I think every coach has both. Um, and that I have, uh, that I like to go for a challenge. That is what I've proved when I was at AZ and when I came to Feyenoord. Because everybody, two years ago, said to me, "How on earth can you go from a club where there's such a good structure towards a club uh, where everybody, especially two journalists in the front row, uh, were saying that it's going to be a tough period over there?" <laughs> or weren't you saying that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you were expecting it to be a tough moment to step in. Uh, but you always said that it's a much bigger club than us at Ogma. That's completely true. So that was already a challenge and we took that, not only me as the complete staff. And um, yeah, that's why we are privileged. I'm privileged to say now that, 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 um, that we're the champions of home. Would you one day at some point like to work in the Premier League? I think um, when, when it comes to Holland, the next step will not be in another club in Holland. If that is the next step, I failed completely in the upcoming uh, few years. Uh, so normal next step would be to go abroad. And I've always said that the best league in the world is the Premier League. But when it comes to, uh, uh, to Italy, you see now that there are a few clubs who are uh, being in every European final as well. So there are more countries where, uh, where it's interesting to go to in the future, but the Premier League is the biggest league in the world, that is clear. So he didn't say there, did he, when given the opportunity to say that Tottenham haven't been in touch and if they had been in touch, he wouldn't go there. He's obviously playing it uh, very cool at the moment, waiting to see what the next few weeks develop. Listen, he's a young coach. He's a good coach. He's won the title here with games to spare after a short period of time in charge. And he's also got a sense of humour. And that showed as he left the news conference. Thank you, coach. See you in London. <laughs> well, after securing the title, they've had a, a few days off here, uh, but he hasn't been in London or anywhere else talking about his future, talking to Tottenham or anyone else, because he said last night he was out, he was in Amsterdam, at the Amsterdam Arena, uh, watching uh, Jonna Fraser, who is a rapper. I'm told. I'm sure you've heard of him, Dave.
Uh, nope, can't say I have. But thank you very much indeed. Appreciate that, Gary.